Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about resonance. Resonance is a phenomena that happens when you oscillate something at its natural frequency. So an object's natural frequency, okay, so the natural frequency is the frequency stroke time period that it would oscillate in a free vibration. So if I was to let this oscillate freely, this here is the object's natural frequency. Resonance is a phenomena. If I input a forced oscillation, so if I'm forcing this thing, so if I, it has its natural frequency and then I'm going to force it, I'm going to add a force at the same time, I'm going to add the force at the same frequency as this. So for example, I'm going to hit it at the same place as natural frequency, I'm going to hit it. So if its natural frequency is one, I'm going to hit it every one second, okay? What happens is I get a phenomena called resonance where maximum energy is transferred from me to it. Okay, so resonance is adding a driving force at the same frequency as the object's natural frequency, which means I get maximum energy transferred. So what actually means here is that if I, this is my object here, if I hit it like, like if I hit it, it's in this natural frequency, so I'm actually just going to hit it at say half its natural frequency, my energy that I'm putting in is not going to be transferred to this object. It's not going to add kinetic energy to this object, which means it gets higher, okay? Think of a swing. You force that swing. You stretch your legs out. You force that swing. And that added energy means you go higher. And if you don't put the swing, if you don't do that at the right sort of motion, the right sort of time period, you don't get higher and higher and higher. In fact, you end up sort of like just rocking back in there in the swing. Okay. I'm going to put a link in the video, a uh, link in the box underneath of a video that shows that kind of motion there. So what happens is that if I add energy at the right frequency, we're adding a force at the right frequency, I am adding at a 100% efficiency my energy to the system. So my kinetic energy gets higher, which means my GPE is going to get higher, which means the amplitude of my oscillation will get bigger. And what this means here is that if I plotted a graph between the frequency of driving force and my amplitude of my object, I would get a graph that looked like this, where this peak here is my F0 or my natural frequency. of the system. So this is the natural frequency of the system and from that of course you could work out the time period or you could work out the angular thing. So you could work out the time period using frequency is 1 over time or you could work out omega using 2 pi f. Okay, which means if you knew the value of that amplitude you could of course work out the maximum velocity you got and the maximum acceleration you got. So let's actually just do one here. If this amplitude was say 1.2 meters and this natural frequency was 25 hertz, okay, my 
omega is going to be 2 pi times 25. So 50 times my pi is 157 uh, rads per second, which means that my Vmax is omega A. So times by 1.25, my maximum velocity is going to be 196 meters per second. And my A max is going to be uh, T. There you go, squared. Another 157. A ridiculous amount here 3.826.9 meters per second squared. And they're just exaggerated numbers. But as you can see here, this is what a graph would look like. And this actually kind of makes sense. The whole idea of you seeing in cartoons of an opera singer singing and then breaking glasses. Now you see that pop objects have bonds, okay? And if you shake those bonds with enough energy, they will break. So every system, every system has a resonant frequency. And if you force it to oscillate that, you get maximum energy transfer. So if a singer was singing at the right frequency of those bonds in the glass, the natural frequency of those bonds in the glass, the singer's voice would give enough energy to cause those bonds to break, to cause resonance, to cause them to move with such an energy. And if that energy was enough, it would cause them to break. Now, resonance is a natural phenomenon that happens all the time. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. What happens is you are an electrical circuit. You are stuck in a magnetic field that is alternating. The electrical circuit in you starts feeling a force. And if it starts oscillating at its natural frequency, you get resonance. And images can detect this. And different parts of your body, of course, have different resonance. Water. Okay, water has um, a natural frequency that's really close to microwaves. So when you stick in a microwave in the oven, when you stick in a microwave oven, you are bombarding it with microwaves. And those microwaves have a frequency which is close to the fre re uh, natural frequency of water bonds and water molecules. So what you end up doing is vibrating those water molecules and making them move more which gives them, of course, 100% energy transfer, or near about, which means that you heat up your food because your food gets, your water in the food gets more energy. Now, a really important question is where should I put my energy? Where should I add it, the force in this motion? Should I add it at the start, here, or there? Where should I add this periodic force motion? If it's at the natural frequency, it means that I have energy transfer, but there must be an optimal point in the actual object that I can cause it to um, oscillate more. And it's really important to understand what's happening here. So this is a graph of my energy, and this is my this is just for a pendulum, okay? So this is for a pendulum. And this is my GPE and my kinetic energy. And as you can see, when my GPE is zero, my kinetic energy is maximum. So I am adding a force and I want it to cause it to move more. I want to add to the overall kinetic energy of the system. <coughs> so I want to cause the object to have more, uh, to have a bigger amplitude. And where I'm going to do that, where is it going to have the most effect, of course, is where the GPE is zero. Because if I put it up here, if I put added kinetic energy up here, I am not changing the gravitational potential energy. All I am doing is keeping the amplitude the same. So let's say, before I force it, I have 10 joules of GP up here, 10 joules of kinetic energy up here, and 10 joules of GP up here. If I added my kinetic energy here, I would still have 10 joules of GPE, which means I have the same height, which means I have the same amplitude, and 2 joules of kinetic energy. I now have 12 joules of kinetic energy, so I'd be going faster here, but when it comes back up here, 
I would have two joules of kinetic energy and um, uh, two joules of kinetic energy and an extra uh, 10 joules of GP there. So I'm not going to change my height really. Okay, I will have a bit of an amplitude change. Okay, so it will, uh, it will, I'm, I'm here, I won't have kinetic energy up here. I'll add it up here, it'll be 14 joules of kinetic uh, um, GP up here. So one of the best places to put it is where I'm already moving. So there's no potential energy, there's literally just pure kinetic. So I'm going to add work, I'm going to add a force at the point where I need got kinetic energy. And this is the point here. So the point where GP is zero is when we're at the equilibrium point here. So if I added my force here, okay, this is where I'm going to add my force here. Uh, here, and there. As you can see, oops, it's quite hard to draw this correctly. This here is pi by two out of phase. And that is when you should, be, should add your force, your periodic driving force, to basically make the most out of adding here. You are adding literally to that point of kinetic energy. You're not uh, adding at the beginning where you've got a mix of G potential energy. That you're adding purely when you've only got kinetic energy or when you've got the maximum amount of kinetic energy. Okay? And think about it. On a swing, where do you push the most? You don't push at the top. You sort of you let yourself fall. And at the bottom, that's when you push. Right at the bottom of the swing. And that makes you go higher each time. Okay? So your main force happens... We're at the bottom with the most, well, basically, where you've got most kinetic energy, you are adding to that kinetic energy. So, in an exam, you will be asked to understand how to draw this and get the information from it. But you'll also be able to, this one comes up a lot, define resonance. Adding a driving force at the same frequency as the object's natural frequency, which means I get a maximum energy transfer, or you get maximum energy transfer to the system. And that there is resonance.